Hey guys, it's Arus here. Um, this is the third time I'm making this Dark World video. So if this gets uploaded, I've persevered. <laughs> I've had three massive problems with this camera and I'm, I'm about to throw it across the room. So if you're watching this, finally made it to YouTube. Happy days. This has taken me about two hours to do. So for the third time, the deck list is as follows. Triple Grapha, Triple Rainbow. Some people like to play two Grapha, some people like to play three. I like to max out on it. It can be a little bit bricky sometimes, but to be fair, you're going to draw a discard outlet. You're going to draw a fusion spell. This does get banished quite often. It's a called by target. I like to play three for this reason. In this particular build, sometimes I play two. In this one, it's three and three. With this, we have two uh, silver for the hand loop purpose. This guy searches the silver. He also searches the grapher. So it's quite an easy way to get to this, which is part of your hand loop uh, combo. The idea is obviously you want to hand loop your opponent's cards for four, which is really easy, and then take the fifth through triple tactics talents. So it's quite easy to hand loop for five. We do like that. We play triple snow, triple genta. This is like non-negotiable guys this card is one of the best if not the best dark world and this one from the, from the stretch deck made it so much more consistent this searches gates banish this discard this bring this back special one of these profit three and three don't play less if you're playing any less playing it wrong don't play dark world Finally, Ceruli, one of This is just to get the hand loop going so that we can special summon this to your opponent's side of the field, rip two cards from hand. Happy. Uh, we play the normal summon package of Triple Tour Guide and Visaga the Destroyer. This is all for Clawless, the fusion monster. Um, yeah, the fusion is that good that it's worth playing. You don't really need to normal summon in this deck, so normal summon in the Tour Guide and letting them rip Ash on it and then using Genta, I would much rather do. Um, of course, you can play with Gossip Shadow. I play Levier to just extend. I'll show you later on what I mean. But uh, I like this package. I think it's good. Double Mothman, one Jacko, Triple Nessie, one Disgusting Golden Bigfoot. Um, this gets this. This gets this. This draws, discards to get this. It's all a combo. It's all about drawing in this deck. I want to draw as many cards as I can. It's not turbo draw because it's more controlled, but these are link material, they're special summon material, they're draw material. These are just good cards in this deck. Um, draw doesn't exist, remember that. To be fair, right now it doesn't. Triple gates. Some people play two, I play three. I want to see in my opening hand this card and this card. If I can see the snow and the genta, that's even better. Genta, search the gates, Disc that goes to the grave. Banish this for, get for snow, snow effect, search another card, bring this back. P fantastic, that's the combo you want to do. I want to see this card. And because I want to see this card, I'm playing triple allure because I want to draw cards. With my danger cards, I want to draw cards. With my allure, I want to draw. So I've got gates and I can facilitate this card on my first turn every turn without fail. This is a great card. Triple Super Poly. This deck is fantastic at breaking boards. This just gives it another tool. Um, there's five fusion targets in the side deck. I don't need to tell you them all, but you can guess what they are, like your, your Dragostopalia, your Melodious card. So it's just to break boards going second because boards are easy to break with Dark World. And this card makes it just much, much easier because you can break the board and then help putting up damage for game. So I like playing through Super Poly. It's really good. Two Dark Corridor, this is the correct amount. Two Dark Water Session. I want to be able to end on um, Grapha and Kalorless. I don't see a reason why not. Kalorless is insane. Um, I don't want to end on Kalorless, sorry. I want to end on the Grapha with the ability to make Kalorless to wipe my opponent's field as well with a negate with Grapha on the field after I've hand them for four. Yeah, it's sweet. This is a great card. And then one tactics to facilitate and complete the hand loop. And one card destruction because look, it's, it literally has a handshake. You're playing Dark World. Uh, you go, game. And that's pretty much it. Uh, unless they're playing tier. 
then, you know, it's not so fun. But here doesn't exist unless I play it. Double Graffer. This card's really good. It's kind of non-negotiable. You really want to play two, not three. Colorless. Being able to wipe your opponent's board on their turn is just chef's kiss. Garura and Mud Dragon. These are the targets for Super Poly. Mud Dragon also really helps to facilitate for your rank four plays as well. Um, so I like these numbers, and this gives you an extra draw when you link it off. Um, Mud Dragon helps you to make the Dagares or the Baguska. Baguska is the plan B of the deck if you really do need to make a Baguska plan B. If you get shifted or something, if you're able to Mud Dragon with a Super Poly and get a normal level four summon, uh, or even a Genta special summon, then you can make Baguska and sit on it. Not advisable, but hey-ho. Levier. Summon Tour Guide, bring out Visago or another Tour Guide. Overlay, make Levier. Levier Detach, bring back the snow you used to banish for your gates earlier in the turn. Return that to hand to special summon one of the big guys. You've now recycled your snow and you can use the best Dark World card again. Happy days. And this is just Graceful Charity in a monster form. Draw two, discard one, triggers the Dark Worlds, special summon from Grave. This card is custom for this deck. And it's also a fiend. Huh, who would have thought? Works under McCraker. Zombie Vampire is completely up to you. I use it as an extender. Um, I also use it to get knowledge from my opponent's deck. If you special something from their side of the field, I side three Fenris, for example. So if you zombie vampire, Fenris is quite popular-ish. Like, and then they special, you can get a Fenris, special the Fenris, add your own Fenris. You've got interruption, you've got link climbing, you've got advantage. Um, or alternatively, you can get a level four off the top and then make Dagaras if you want, using like your two rank eight, your two level eights to make it and stuff. So uh, this is good. But you could use number 38 if you wanted spell negation or number 90 if you wanted monster negation. So that's entirely up to you. And then the links. We have Underworld, Appaloosa, Akashic, Nightmare, Phoenix, McCraker, and Unicorn. Uh, these two are not fiends, so you have to be careful how you play the McCraker because it fiend locks you. But these are all fiends, and that's really good because you can use this, get this out to destroy spells and draw a card by co-linking. You can do this to get this out if you want to get rid of a card. You can do this to get another one back and then use a tour guide or whatever to then make Underworld if you've got an untargetable pain in the ass monster on the field. Uh, Akashic is just to hand loop. And obviously with Appaloosa, you can make a like 1,200 material Appaloosa because you've got that many monsters that you special summon again and again and again and again and again and again and again. Third time lucky Dark World. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe for more. Please tell me if there's anything that you guys want to see. Let me know if you want to see combo videos. Let me want to know if you want to see commentary and things like that. Thank you very much for listening. Speak to you soon.